Hello dear viewers, this is Parvalos Korob and Laravel Daily Video Channel. I've counted, actually it's already number 12, video number 12 of this channel of Laravel Daily Video and I am trying to continue that as daily as possible. Topic of today is typical Laravel projects on uh, job boards like Upwork and at the same time Laravel trends. So what do we need to learn? What projects are most popular, most relevant and stuff like that. I've been doing some research uh, while looking for more work for myself and my team and, uh, and decided to, to do it properly, a proper research with uh, noting down like what are the technologies, what are the project types and, and what do we need to learn, what do we lack, what skills do we lack and, and stuff like that. So that's actually, that looks like that. So full, full sheet of uh, keywords and, and, and notes uh, and I've uh, just summarized that to present to you. So why Upwork? Well, I, I, I like using Upwork for examples, for uh, trends, because it kind of, it's, it's the lower end of the market, of course, it's smaller projects, smaller budgets and clients from uh, really all over the world. But uh, it, shows, it shows some trends, so uh, those numbers that I will, uh, I will name soon, just, just uh, how, to, how to say that, just don't use them as, as they are, just translate them into your own maybe local market, maybe some uh, uh, shift, maybe you have some niche which is different from, from the numbers, but I will share overall numbers. So how did I come up with those numbers? I've just searched for Laravel on Upwork and I've just browsed through all the descriptions of the work and uh, basically t I was tagging s similar tags, keywords, whatever you call them. So what technologies are used uh, in requirements and what type of projects it is. So basically two groups, two questions. Question number one, which types of projects are popular? So maybe we should create some CMS for that or some snippets. Uh, like quick admin panel, we have four admin panels. Uh, and question number two, what technologies are uh, required? nowadays with Laravel and, and what do we need to learn or practice more. So question number one is types of projects. So let's start with that. So what types of projects are there on Upwork? Uh, I've uh, analyzed 200 projects in general. I've not actually, I've not analyzed, I won't lie to you. I mean, I've, I've browsed through them, read the description, I was looking for keywords and I didn't uh, pay any attention to country, budget, uh, size, uh, anything like that, just the type of the project and the keywords for technology. So out of those 200, uh, quite a lot of them weren't actually specific at all, like looking for Laravel developer, looking for PHP developer, and no major details, so I've skipped those. So in reality, it was more like 50 to 100 projects uh, on Laravel with specific keywords or topics. So what do we have? Top five topics, top five types of projects. And uh, type number one is e-commerce. Uh, so e-commerce means e-shop, selling something, some, uh, I don't know, yeah, basically that, 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 that's all. Maybe some integration with Amazon or some uh, maybe a list of shops, something like that. So selling something, so the purpose of the website is selling stuff, selling uh, products or services. That's e-commerce and I found 13 projects like that. So type number one is e-commerce with 13 projects. Uh, type number two is admin panels, CRMs, data management. Uh, they come by various names. Uh, also it has intranet, uh, membership site, CRM, uh, all those uh, types, I've grouped them into one, basically basically it can be admin panel uh, with just some branding. So there were 12 projects like that, which is also quite a lot. Uh, third place is direct, yeah, how to pronounce it, directory website, directory reviews, classifieds, ads, and stuff like that. So basically, list of something, uh, list of, uh, I don't know, for example, courses or uh, travel, uh, tr travel, uh, yeah, basically travels, uh, destinations and stuff like that. So, or advertised, 
uh, advertisements, reviews. Sorry, it's quite difficult for me to speak English today. N not sure why. I mean, having trouble with, with my tongue, I guess. So I apologize for that. I hope you understand me clearly. I'm trying to to uh, speak clearly. <laughs> so yeah, uh, type number three is directories. Type number four is uh, our directories had nine projects. So e-commerce thirteen, admin CRMs twelve, directories nine. Uh, type number four is social networks. Seven projects of social networks of some kind, uh, which means basically there were there are users uh, who are interacting with each other, like internal messaging profiles, uh, uploading photos, uploading history, something like that. So seven projects like that. So niche social networks. And five projects uh, were about CMS. So creating some kind of CMS, which is like the project is about content and your Laravel skills would be used for uh, creating the admin panel for that content and some specifics. So yeah, those are the five types of projects that were the most popular in my mini research. So I'll repeat them. It's e-commerce, e-commerce 13 projects, admin CRMs 12 projects, directories or review sites 9 projects, social network 7 projects and CMS 5 projects. So we finished with the first topic is the topic of projects like the type of projects and question number two what technologies are the most popular that come with uh, with Laravel? So by far the first place like really strongly is AngularJS uh, so a lot of websites are, as I've mentioned in previous video uh, videos, uh, the world is moving towards front-end in general, and Angular is by far the most popular framework on the market. Uh, it's 28 projects uh, mentioned, Angular of uh, some kind. Uh, yeah. uh, sorry, check my phone. Uh, then question number two, not question, technology number two, it's actually two and three, they are related. Uh, second place is API integration, 24 projects. 24 projects required some kind of external API integrations. And with this, uh, there is an interesting twist to that being a Laravel professional. <clears throat> it doesn't really matter if you're a Laravel professional, if you cannot use any external tools or APIs because a lot of projects use something like Twilio, MailChimp, uh, I don't know, Amazon APIs, some Google Maps APIs, what else do I have here, some, uh, yeah, Amazon, uh, what, uh, API integrations, uh, not sure, S3, which is the same Amazon. So, a lot of random APIs, uh, but you basically need to be a specialist in that type of API or or maybe family of APIs like social networks or payments or anything like that. But you you basically you want to learn how to integrate APIs, like how to use them, how to get the data, set the data, uh, error messaging and stuff like that. <clears throat> so APIs are really hot. And third place is API creation. So 21 projects require that you would create the API in Laravel. And uh, that's actually related quite a lot to mobile applications. So quite a lot of projects were uh, using Laravel or even Lumen. Lumen was mentioned three times only, but still. Uh, so Laravel for backend for the API creation and then taking that, uh, give, given that into some mobile app, for example or the same Angular. Like, so that, that's the whole picture. Top three technologies actually are from the same philosophy. It's Angular, API integration, and API creation, which means front-end projects and back-end only for API and only for getting and setting the data. Uh, and there are two more technologies which are related. Uh, number four is payments. Uh, that's basically that's the same API, but uh, specifically 10 projects mentioned payments, whether it's Stripe, Authorize.net, Braintree, uh, PayPal, uh, any, any merchant. Uh, some of them are covered by Laravel um, cashier. Uh, some of them are just uh, external APIs, but uh, 10, pay, 10 projects specifically mentioned payments. But I wonder how many more are uh, kind of 
they think that you you would use payments anyways like for e-commerce or d directory websites reviews or any membership website would totally use payments and uh, that's that's also hot so if you basically that interesting philosophy if you want to earn money you have to work with clients uh, who have businesses who have money and if they have businesses they need to support payments that's basically simple so you need to uh, to work with clients uh, that have projects with payments and not just uh, social uh, charity type of or hobby project then that's it and technology number five which is growing but not as quickly as I expected is Vue.js Vue.js was mentioned mentioned six times which is not a lot out of 200 but uh, but still it's growing and I expect that to be growing more and more so Vue.js is not for like fully baked front-end projects but it's a nice uh, add-on addition to Laravel backend with some some twist for for front-end so uh, I guess that's it that's kind of a unstructured but more or less structured top uh, review top technologies and top projects in Laravel so in terms of technologies I will repeat the numbers uh, place number one goes to Angular with 28 projects API integration 24 projects API creation 21 projects payments integration 10 projects and UGS 6 projects so I hope this video will uh, get will, will tell you the whole overview of Laravel market at least on Upwork of course uh, the actual trends uh, should be done not by 200 projects, but more like thousands or 10,000. Maybe I will find time for that, like for deeper, but uh, now I see clear leaders, clear trends, uh, and that information is pretty much enough for me to make decisions what projects to pursue and what technologies to learn. I hope it will help you too, and if you have any comments, if you have any questions about it, please use your use uh, your uh, keyboard <laughs> to, to write YouTube comment. And if you have any questions or idea for the next episodes of Laravel Daily Video, also waiting for your comments below and subscribe to the channel as well. See you in the next videos of Laravel Daily Video channel.